who are received from the Lord by the hand of God to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the child has to suffer, saying, This child is the new covenant of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you will proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Nice to see you all this morning. Today's Mass is being offered for Daniel and Ashley Candler. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries and to listen to God's word that is called to mind our sins. I confess to so my God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Daniel and Ashley Candler. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we, who call on you in our need, may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God that is at Corinth, with all the holy ones through Acacia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of compassion and the Lord of all encouragement, who encourages us in our every affliction, so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction with the encouragement with which we ourselves are encouraged by God. For as Christ's offering overflowed to us, so through Christ does our encouragement also overflow. If we are afflicted, it is for your encouragement and salvation. If we are encouraged, it is your encouragement which enables you to endure the same suffering that we suffer. Our hope for you is firm, for we know that as you share in the sufferings, you also share in the encouragement. The word of the Lord. Our response to our psalm is from the 34th Psalm. Take and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. 
Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The, late, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel of According to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. After he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus the persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. I've been to the site where Jesus preached the Sermon on the Mount, and it's a beautiful place, and there's a church there, and it's eight-sided, I guess, one for each of the Beatitudes. And when you're inside and you look out, you get a different view each time. But when you're outside and you look in, you see Jesus in the tabernacle. And it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful area and a beautiful spot. Any of you seen it? Yeah. A number of you have. Okay, but well you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I think all of the Beatitudes lead us to Jesus. And Jesus Christ in his life, especially his death on the cross, is the fulfillment, the living out of the Beatitudes. And in our world, the world tells us the way to be happy is power, pleasure, wealth, or honor. But Jesus says, and the best example is Jesus at the Last Supper. He said, I have given you an example to follow. Wash each other's feet. It's about service. It's about love. It's about being a peacemaker, about being a cleaner heart, comforting the, 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 the bereaved and, and doing God's will. And Matthew presents his gospel with five discourses. And this is the discourse on the law. And in many ways, the Beatitudes sums up all the Old Testament. It's the fulfillment of the old, all the Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, the law was on the lips. In the New Testament, the law is in the heart. And for the next several days, we'll have the Gospel from the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5 through 7. And it will be telling us the higher standard that Jesus calls from us. The law from the heart, not the law on the lips. And we will, it's beautiful, the Gospel of Matthew, and we'll be hearing it for the next several months at our daily Mass. So I would recommend that you read the Gospel of Matthew from, from beginning to end, so you would appreciate everything that Matthew is trying to get across. Jesus as the new lawgiver, Jesus as the new teacher, Jesus teaching us how to be happy. And the way we, we, for, for Matthew is the way of the cross. The way for Jesus is the way of the cross. He, uh, he said we have to take up our cross each day and everything leads to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. 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 Let us pray. <laughs> Let us pray that as followers of Jesus Christ, we will try and live out the Beatitudes and be happy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our sick, and all those who care for them, especially the sick who have requested special prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all the faithful departed, may God grant them eternal rest and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. For the successful completion of our new church and for the safety of all our workers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. For God to keep us safe from all hurricanes and natural disasters this season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. We pray for all our priests, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. For God's guidance and direction in all that we say and do, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. For the safety of all people traveling by sea, land, or air, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. 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 For those who are being persecuted for the faith, may they find comfort in the Beatitudes and be faithful to Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. Almighty God, we thank you for this teaching. May we be your people and serve one another through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. <coughs> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give these thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the true and eternal priest, who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with all the angels and archangels, with throne the dominion, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And today we have a quote from St. Thomas Aquinas. He said, The Blessed Eucharist is the perfect sacrament of the Lord's Passion, since it contains Christ himself and his Passion. Humility was extolled by Christ, and surely in this sacrament he preaches an unrivaled humility, which disdains no dwelling, but consents to come like a guest to any heart, even one that is defiled. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit among them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church bread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here. Go and make disciples. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Come Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and the kingdom of the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and we shall be created, and you shall be the face of the earth. Let us pray, O oh God, by the light of the Holy Spirit, instruct the hearts of the faithful. Right, by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise in every 